So it's more engineering. We uh, bought a new microwave for our kitchen because ours was a piece of crap. This one's probably a slightly better piece of crap. We'll see. But uh, the question is, can it make rated power? We're gonna find out. Let's see, plastic. Ooh, it's even packed with styrofoam. to do this we got to get a voltage measurement which we'll get right here and we got to get a current measurement so I've split the casing on this power strip pulled out the uh, hot wire here broke it in half I'm gonna connect it with one of these when we're ready to go I don't really recommend this at home unless you uh, know what the F you're doing or don't mind being shocked a little bit so we got to do is run this live wire through current clamp like this or the current sensor. We'll hook this up, put this little cap on here for safety. And then we'll get our voltage measurement like this. This, and then we'll plug our microwave into here. Fire up our AMM1 audio multimeter slash microwave tester. Anything that has electricity going to it. AC volts and current. All right, let's turn it on. Make sure we see our voltage. Power strips on. Microwave made some crazy startup sound. And there we are, 116 volts. All right. It's the moment of truth. Fire this bad boy up. There's the current. There's the voltage. Ooh. Let's see. Power factor. 18, 17, 1800 VA with a 90% power factor. So if you were using clamps like a voltmeter and a current meter and multiplied them, that's what you'd see is 1800. But that's not the actual power because the formula for watts is not volts times amps. It's volt times amp times power factor. So. There we go. Our microwave is underrated. Yeah, baby. 1560, 1570. Only rated at 1100. That's right. Cook some shit.